What's going on party people? My name is Solomon, I am an artist, and thus I go by Solomon the Artiste. I legit almost forgot my intro. And that's so funny, because I definitely mentioned before that, I don't know if I'm gonna continue with that intro or not. I think I will though. I'm sorry, I am so disgusting right now. Like I am sweaty, um, my mustache ain't done. I'm here drinking tea. Um, currently, I am cur uh, currently in Georgia, um, in my home in Georgia. I don't live in Georgia. I'm born and raised in New York. I live in New York, but I do have a home in Georgia. Um, and so I'm just sort of in a place where I kind of just go back and forth, you know? Y'all know I was living in LA for a while, for about a year, and it just made sense for me to come back, to leave LA. It's weird, like when I wasn't there, and it's happening again. Now that I'm not living there, these opportunities are presenting themselves, which is kind of what happened when I moved there from New York. I felt like things just sort of dried up in New York, and you know, I moved and went to LA, and all of a sudden, all these opportunities were popping up, and I was I was hearing from my agent constantly and everything, and I couldn't tell her that I moved to LA because I didn't want her to drop me as an, as a, a client or whatever. Um, but now I'm in Georgia. I'm here trying ultimately to upgrade my house a bit more. Um, I want to make more use of it. Like, what's the point of having the home if I'm not using it? You know. And so. It's a huge house, because <laughs> y'all know homes in Georgia are way cheaper than New York. And um, again, I'm sorry, I'm like sweaty, it's hot. I can't get my air conditioning to work properly. And crazy enough, I'm sitting here drinking tea, like I said. But I just kind of feel like drinking some tea, you know? It's just seco mi stomach. Um, but yeah, either way. I'm probably about to go try to work that air conditioning again. Or maybe it's just not working in this room. I chose to film in this room because it's just a opened white space room. Like my intention for this particular room is to um, create a media space. Like to um, actually film videos in here and to uh, build up a... Uh, recording studio essentially i've got this closet over here that is a perfect sound booth um the space is big enough where i can set up my desk and have my speakers up and have all my stuff open for um you know creating and recording and all that good stuff and i can still have space in here to just film from the side or whatever um you know when i have auditions when i have to do video auditions self tapes the space behind me is perfect. Well, the whole house is perfect. It's all white walls, you know? But uh, ultimately, yeah, I'm here in Georgia now just sort of setting things up. I had to do a couple of upgrades while, well, I came because I needed to do some upgrades. So I've done them and I'm just sort of looking around to see what else I need to do. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Uh, as you can tell, I opted to record inside this time. It, I like recording outside. I like sitting on my, 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 I was gonna say my stoop, this is in New York, on my porch and recording. Like the other morning, I sat down out there and I just drank tea. Was I drinking tea in the video? I can't remember, I think I was. But you know, the thing is it was nice to just sit down out there and you know where I live in Georgia, I don't live in Atlanta. I live um, like a good hour out of Atlanta. But I like it like that. You know, so, but either way, what I'm getting at is that I'm not, I don't live in the city of Georgia, which is what Atlanta is. You know, I live the equivalent of, of New York, you know, living in the borough of Queens as opposed to living in Manhattan. I like it that way. You know, the hustle and bustle, most of it is in Manhattan, but, you know, I can leave Manhattan and go home to the, to the quiet suburbs, you know, and that's essentially what I get to do here in Georgia as well. Um, the other thing about Georgia is that I, it's a much quicker and cheaper flight to New York. You know, like if I decide to like stay out here permanently or something, if I do have sudden auditions that come up, I can head out there real quick without a problem. Unlike LA, it's a, like a, almost a six hour flight and it's never cheap to fly between LA and New York. 
Um, sometimes it is, I suppose, but but either way, that's a, that's neither here nor there. So I don't know what these videos are becoming. I feel like I just turn on the camera and I just it's like speaking to a therapist almost, you know. So I understand if you don't want to watch these videos, but I hope you do because ultimately I'm just trying to. I want this channel, it's weird, I always say I don't want to be a YouTuber, but I'm doing the things that a YouTuber would do if they're trying to start a YouTube page. But basically, I just want this channel to be one where it's just that. We sit and we chat, you know, like artists would do. Let's go to a cafe and, I don't know, jam out, you know? Somebody bring the guitar and let's just start singing and doing stuff and get everyone involved. You know what I mean? Obviously you can't do that here, this is just me talking to you through a camera lens but still the point I'm trying to make is that I just want these videos to feel real you know it's kind of what we had no choice but to get used to during this pandemic you know like social media really for the first time became social media you know people were actually having to connect as opposed to just putting up content to say Hi, I'm here, I'm living large and in charge, even though I'm really not, you know? And um, that's somewhat of a beautiful thing. Uh, yeah, I really gotta cut that backyard though. The landscaper that I have, cause you know, like I said, I'm not here all the time, but where my house is, it's a affluent neighborhood. And so I have to keep my lawn cut a certain way, otherwise I'll get a ticket. Um, so I do have a, a, a landscaper who does that for me um, bi-weekly. However, he will not cut the backyard for some reason and it needs to be cut because I can still get a ticket for that. Um, like if it grows too tall and grows past the uh, fence. So honestly, I'm thinking to just invest. Sorry about that noise, it's me mixing my tea. Um, I'm thinking to invest in a new lawn mower lawn lawn mower and I figure I'll just cut like it doesn't the grass doesn't grow fast enough where like if I don't show up for like two or three months that it'll grow past the gate the uh, the fence you know so if I just invest in a lawn mower and just keep that in the garage I think I'd be fine but I am planning to move to come out here more often I don't know if I'm gonna move out here to stay um, but I you know, it's, it's Georgia. I'm close enough to Atlanta where I feel like I can do more auditions um, out here because, you know, it really is Black Hollywood out here. Uh, but I do, I don't know. I'm just kind of talking in circles right now, it seems. I'm sorry. But it's where I'm at right now, you know? I am super excited. Uh, I've got some great music coming out, some new music coming out. I've been working with the homie Matt who's probably watching this video right now I think he's like one of the few people that actually keep up with these videos <laughs> um, but we've been creating some really dope stuff and what I love about Matt is that he's not he is but he isn't like he's definitely about the top 40 what's popping right now but he also knows what good music is because top 40 is not necessarily good music but it's popular music it's top 40 but he knows what good music is and uh he understands my taste and my abilities and you know we just kind of vibe off each other and create magic which is fire and so we've got a little ep on the way um next month or the month after i forget when exactly um yeah so there's that, but I am also still looking to film a few visuals for my first album that I never got to do vid uh, videos for, R.B. Charby Revolutionary Trophy. Um, there's a whole playlist, a YouTube playlist somewhere. I don't know if it's something I can, I don't know. I'll figure it out, but if it's not in the link below, it'll be one of those tags or whatever. I don't know. In any case, I'm gonna do five videos, um, very simplistic videos, just straight to the point. I feel like my songs are, they tell enough of a story where I don't need to be a 
overtly vivid with the music videos. I just want videos that say, hey, I'm Solomon the Artiste. This is what I do. This is what I sing about. This is what I create. This is what I'm about. Here you go. Take a look while you listen. That's really all I'm trying to do. And um, yeah, so I'm trying to get that done for sure before the year's over. I want to do that before like winter hits and such. And um, yeah, so I don't even know what kind of video this would be, an update video, I guess. I don't know. Either way though, I'm going to end this here. I just wanted to sit real quick and chit chat and say stuff. And that's what I did. And um, again, I apologize. I am just sweating up a storm. My mustache ain't done like I said. The angle of this camera is probably weird. But, you know, it is what it is. It's really interesting being out here though because everyone knows my dad to be out here more often than me. And I don't think I've really been here since I was much younger so people don't recognize me. So the neighborhood, like the neighbors when they do see me, it's one of those weird like, who is that? Is he supposed to be in the house? He's got a key. He's like acting all normal, like he's supposed to be there, but I don't know who he is. It's really funny to me to watch. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. They'll get over it. They'll get used to it. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you for watching. Until next time, peace.